Hi, my name is Umar and today we are going to review this Toyota Hilux Beagle. This car was provided with the courtesy of Al Rauf, which is one of the oldest and most reputable used car dealerships in Karachi. You can check their Facebook page, the link of that is given in the description and you can see the cars that they have available for sale. Also they have this car available for sale so if you are interested you can look it up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to bring videos like these for you guys. Our website bamwheels.com has been launched. Please check us out on the website to see my detailed opinions about the cars that we are reviewing and also we have a merchandise store there you can check the merchandise and if there is something that you like you can buy it and also our Instagram page is there it is also BAM wheels you can follow us on our Instagram page if you want to have constant and more regular updates as what is going on and what's we are, what is it that we are doing so all of that is on our uh, Instagram page this car uh, the Hilux Vigo this particular generation was launched in 2003 and then there was a major facelift around 2010. This car was replaced by the Revo which is the current generation and it was replaced in 2016 which was two years back. So this one that we are reviewing today is a Pakistan Assemble Hilux Vigo. The Pakistan assembly of these cars started in 2010 and they are still going on. As usual we will look at all the features of this car and then we will take it for a road drive. This car is powered with the Toyota's 2KD engine which was first offered in 2001. This engine is a diesel engine. It is a 2494cc diesel engine. It is a, it is a non turbo engine engine. Uh, this engine produces 102 horsepower with 260 Newton meter of torque. Now the international variant of this car normally came with 1KD engine which is a bigger and better engine but the Pakistani cars came with this non-turbo 2KD engine. Now coming to the front of the car, the shape is more or less same as the international variant. The one, the international variant Vigos that we see, you have the fog light, you have the headlights, there is a chrome grill. All of it is more or less same as the international variants of Vigo. The only difference that you can tell apart whether it's the non-turbo one or the turbo one, uh, more or mo mostly the local cars are non-turbo ones, is the hood scoop. In the local car, you don't get that hood scoop because there is no turbo so you don't need any inter turbo intercooler intake for like that so the hood is normal plain hood in the international ones the ones that come with 1kd engine you get that hood scoop over here so the car comes with these 17 inches alloy rims these are a standard in this G variant when you come to the doors both the doors have Hilux emblem and a D4D emblem rear sticker is uh, 4x4 ECT automatic sticker, the car has 4x4 and you get 4 speed automatic transmission so that's the rear sticker for. The car that we are reviewing is 2014 model so in the later part of 2014 they started giving a lot of extra stuff. This car comes with this key which is the standard key, this car did not come with a remote control, or, uh, remote control door locks. But the, car, uh, the upgrade that happened in the later part of 2014. So when you enter the car, you have this wooden trimmed on your door. Plus this mesh kind of a fabric in the doors. Looks really nice. You have door speakers, a door pocket with one cup holder. Over here you have the button for your fog lights, your retractable door mirrors, your mirrors. This is your cup holder number one. Then you have a multi-function steering wheel. If 
you can look at it this is a multifunction steering wheel this leather stitched cover this is an aftermarket this isn't something that came from factory you have rpm meter speedometer and you have your fuel in uh, fuel and everything let me just turn it on to see what kind of options we have so in the options you have your trip a trip b odometer that's about it you don't get a lot of information in this information cluster you have your navigation screen i believe this is an aftermarket navigation this card did not come with this kind of navigation you have your, your clock passenger seat belt warning manual climate control ash tray is over here this is your cigarette lighter rear defogger another cup holder this is your 4x4 gear the old school 4x4 gear that's what you get in this your automatic the transmission now this car comes with a four speed automatic transmission your handbrake center armrest and the console and over here you have your second cup holder and a gloves box when you come to the roof of the car you don't get any sun visors neither over here so that is kind of a turn off with the wooden trim gray and beige interior this is how it is when we come to the rear door you have the same mesh in the fabric your wooden trim for the power windows a door pocket with cup holder and and speakers in the rear door as well so now i'm sitting at the back of this uh, vigo just like any other double cabin the problem is in this car as well that the leg space like when you're trying to sit at the rear you are sitting like this so this is not a comfortable position this is a, in fact a very very uncomfortable position over here you have a space for easily fitting in three people and over here if you look you have two cup holders over here as well apart from that um, yeah so in the long journey this is not a good space this is a very tight and cramped up position so just like the front of the car the rear is also same as the international variant with the tail light design and the tailgate design you have your uh, rear camera over here you have toyota's emblem over here hilux g variant this is the g variant so the variant's emblem is over here you have vigo written over here and this is your champs variant since uh, the low local ones they call it vigo champ they called it vigo champ in this generation so the champ variant is over here so this is uh, pretty much with the uh, rear of the car coming to the rear bed of the car you have this plastic lining uh, all across this is very good so when you are putting some luggage or something in the car car's paint doesn't scrape off Uh, people do put in those rear seats as well so that is something that is after market those seats are never available as a company default so these are all the features of this Hilux Vigo now let's take the car for a road drive now we are driving this Vigo i personally feel that these cars are very less equipped why i say that why i say that because this car does not have a telescopic steering wheel which is something that even an xli in 2014 had so yeah feature wise you feel that you are not getting a lot of features when you are buying one of these apart from that the price range these cars would cost you somewhere between 3 to 4 million rupees depending on what variant you are getting and what kind of options you are going for the year you are going for so the local ones with this 2kd engine would cost somewhere between 3 to 4 million rupees uh, if you go for the international ones they are even higher priced depending on again what kind of thing you are getting uh the pickup compared to the revo it uh, or the 1kd engine i mean the pickup is not that great it's kind of a slow pickup truck this is something that you would get for your work horse you it is it isn't something 
that you would you can possibly enjoy because uh, it is a slow car with this engine it is it feels underpowered that's something i would say about the visibility visibility is great i mean with these double cabins the visibility is always good because of the driving posture and the driving position and way you are sitting on the road so the visibility is always good in these trucks turning cycle the turning cycle is also the turning cycle is very nice when com- like considering the kind of vehicle that you are driving the turning cycle is very very nice um this would be absurd to calculate the ground clearance i mean this is a truck so the ground clearance has to be good i mean that is something that's a no brainer uh braking does not feel that great i mean uh even though the car does have abs but the braking does not feel that sharp so that is something that is lacking with the size and the body of the car you don't get very good brakes apart from that the fuel average is so these give around 7 8ish uh, in terms of the diesel consumption 7 8ish is what you get parts and resale uh, yeah parts and resale is of course very good because it's toyota it's a local toyota it's a hilux so you don't need to worry about the parts or the resale factor that was all about our review of this hilux we go to subscribe to our channel you can click here if you'd like to watch more videos you can click here and over here somewhere maybe uh, please let us know in the comment section what you think about this review till next time bye